Hey folks, sorry for the delay. I hope you can see me and hear me. Let me turn this down for a second. Okay, so <laughs> last minute change in plans here. Hold on a second, let me sort this out. All right, so I was about to go set up to stream. Okay, is this, can you guys hear me okay? It's about to go set up to stream like I usually do upstairs, but uh, Cora wanted to play a game on the Xbox. She had just started and it was hanging, so I was like, all right, I'll just go stream downstairs if that's if, if you don't mind, uh, or if you want. And so she said, sure. So I came downstairs, and of course, the one thing about my setup downstairs is it doesn't um, it doesn't hold like it doesn't remember my settings when I plug in the capture card. So I've spent the last half an hour trying to figure out like why the audio is not coming through. I had to reconfigure everything. I had to figure out why the audio isn't coming through. And uh, basically, I regret <laughs> I regret offering to come down here to stream because I don't do it often enough to have it be seamless. Okay, so can you guys hear me okay and see me okay? And I couldn't get the chat to work on my computer because it was starting to hang because I think I had too many things loading on that main screen. So, yes, yeah, still need to get a new computer. So I'm just going to catch up on the chat here on my phone, I guess, today. Five by five, huh? Awesome. So, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to get the audio to work. I'm using... I'm using a RetroTank Mini, um, and the I had previously streamed from down here with it, and it was fine. And um, I had the audio settings and everything working, but I can't figure out how to get them to work right now for some reason, which is too bad because this game has music by Tim Fallon, which is pretty cool. Hey, Jim, thank you. And let me say hi to Solid Nate and Stutter and Stick. And, uh, oh, you're lurking. Cool. And John Early, hi. I did not hear about... Oh, you're talking solid eight. Okay. Hey, Wes. Thank God I'm streaming. <laughs> cool. And hi, Emperox. Yep, yep. Sorry. Usually I tweeted that I was running late and uh, I was kind of kind of sad. Oh, my shirt. So so this is, uh, this is a Ruby shirt. It's a Ruby. It's a mashup between Ruby and uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. So courtesy of Rooster Teeth. Uh, they've been doing some interesting anime mashups, uh, specific with like, Studio Ghibli stuff. So they had um, they had one that was like Castle in the Sky, with uh, Penny from uh, from the, well, characters from the show. Anyway, cool stuff. I think they're pretty neat. They have one that looks kind of like Akira, so they've got a lot of neat stuff. I'm watching you on my Android Motorola phone using my newly acquired Raycon E25 wireless earbuds. Very nice. Cool. So let me see if I can set up my phone next to the TV. I've got the phone on the, next to the TV and I think I can follow the chat, maybe, we'll see. So I sound okay, the microphone's all right and the stream's working and my computer's stabilizing, just can't get the audio from the, from the game to work. So I'm gonna turn up the audio on my TV so that hopefully you can hear it. Let me know if you can hear that okay. No, Cora's not playing Witcher, she's playing a game called Pathologic 2, which I don't think she even really likes it. It's it's a weird game. It is a very, very weird game. And, um, yeah, so, I don't know. She's she's playing that, I guess. If she could get it to work, because it was, it was hanging for some reason. She's playing on the Xbox One. Anyway, is the audio... Can you hear the game audio all right? Oh, geez. So that was a hassle I didn't need. Um, the thing about streaming is is you get everything all set up and and stuff just stops working sometimes so which is it's kind of a shame because i really um was interested in well i'm excited about playing this actually the whole family's retro gaming game audio is very quiet yeah because it's on the tv it's coming out of the tv i'll boost the audio a little bit more i actually don't know how much audio there is in the game proper it's pretty loud now so let me know if you can hear that um, yeah, and actually I wanted to pull up the uh, manual for this game as well, because I might need it, so let me hold on a second while I do that. And I might be able to read the chat on my computer screen if I do something here. Okay, so that's audible. I, re I can't really see if there's a problem with my computer because I've zoomed in but I can read the chat on the screen now so crank it 
Um, all right, let me pull up the manual real quick. So I had, I have tried this as a kid, and uh, I never got past I think like one or two screens because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. So hopefully things will go better today. We'll see. All right, here it is. But I did want to share some of the manual because it was kind of interesting. And I can mute the TV when I do that. So uh, hopefully the picture looks okay. I got to figure out what's going on with the audio on this thing. It worked. It worked once. I streamed uh, the Mad Wizard down here, and it was fine. So I have no idea what's going on here. I might also need to reset my restart my computer or something. I don't know. All right. So hold on one second here. I'm going to mute this, and uh, I'm going to read. So this is a weird. This game has a weird cover, but it opens with the Legend of Castle Rock. When darkness slithers through the land on evil's foul and fiendish hand. Ere blackness o'er a man's hearts has crossed, recall these words of legend lost. Neath Castle Rock's well-guarded walls, one hope for man in ancient halls, safe bid from evil searching eyes, the shattered staff of Demnos lies. Each hundred years on full moon's rise, high in the winter solstice skies, the spell that cloaks the staff shall break, revealing that which all would take. So that was kind of neat. It says it's an excerpt from, sorry, excerpt form, the ancient rune poem as translated by Shadax the Sorcerer. And there's all sorts of random umlauts and little characters to let you know that this is, this is a weird, this is an old language. And then there's like a little, there's like a very extended story here. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it goes on for pages and pages, but I will read just the first bit here. As the full moon rose high above Castle Rock on the eve of the winter solstice, Morbius the malevolent grinned a wicked grin and continued to ready the impending ritual, the sacrifice of a helpless damsel, of course, to the forces of darkness in return for total domination of the world. But this was no simple girl, he thought in his black and twisted mind. This was the beautiful Princess Eleanor of Arcadia. Hey, it's the name of my island on Animal Crossing. Uh, the land of his sworn enemy. It was too perfect. Too perfect. Not even that accursed staff of Demnos could stand in his way now. For years, his spies had used every conceivably horrible method to find it, and if they could not succeed, surely no one else would. Besides, with or without the magic staff, his evil plans would succeed. With or without it, he would become the supreme symbol of evil, the Black Baron of Darkness. Then all would be forced to grovel at his feet, and he would plunge the world into a deathly darkness from which it would never return. Everything was prepared. Nothing could stop him now. And this goes on for three pages. I will not, I will not keep reading this, but you can find it online if you need to. Here I thought it was just a subsidiary of Warner Brothers. What was, what is the, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what you're referring to. Uh, something in, in, uh, in Solstice. Okay. So let me go back to the chat on here in case I need it. Yeah, sorry, I'm all, I'm all uh, Castle Rock. Oh, Castle Rock. <laughs> gotcha. I thought you were making a Rooster Teeth comment because they're like they're um, affiliated with with uh, Warner Brothers now. Anyway, anyway, we will get started now. Okay, so I'm all right. My well, my audio is okay. I'm going to turn the game audio back on. I can kind of see the chat on the on my computer screen as long as that holds out. Um, CPU is doing all right. Okay, we'll get started. So I'm sure some of you have played this game before. It seems like some people really like it a lot. Um, if you haven't played this, there's also a Super NES sequel called Equinox. That looks interesting. Um, let's turn the music back on. kind of like playing on my CRT. I just wish I could get the audio to work consistently. So I'll have to figure that one out. And let's give this thing a try. Hope you all are doing well tonight. Doing better than me. Being stuck at the last minute. Um, yeah, if I stream down here more often, I'd probably have a, 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 a consistent computer set up. All right, let's get started here. Programmed by Mike Webb. Graphics by Mark Wilson. Music by Timothy Fallen. Cool game. Hey, Eduardo Velasquez. How are you? All right, so we're going to get started. Here's the story. Shadax, help me! Oh my goodness, I didn't even know that there were opening cinematics. Princess Eleanor! Princess Eleanor is mine! Morbius, release her! Ha ha, she is to lose her soul that I may become powerful beyond your comprehension. It is the solstice and evil shall rise this day. 
Wowzers. Okay. So if you look at the cover of this bot of this game, there's like a ripped wizard. He's got no shirt on and he's just like ripped. And I saw the commercial for this game as well earlier today. Um, and uh, there's also a ripped wizard in that. Like he grabs the uh, staff and he turns into a ripped wizard. So I don't know what's going on with that. This is good, but definitely takes some getting used to. Yeah. Have you beaten this one, Jim? Soul. St oh, no. Oh, no, Emperox. No, no. Yeah, the, the controls are tricky. I, I know, I'm pretty sure I noped out of this game a long time ago. Um, yeah, she had a dairy. I don't think that was a dress. I think it was like a, a slip or something. Hey, Victory Leo. How are you doing? I might keep my phone here just so I can see things a little bit more clearly instead of peering at the computer and squinting a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember the controls are being tricky, and, and there's like stuff in the manual as well. I think that's why I want to keep my, my phone here, because there's like different... There are like um, potions. Okay, I have to remember what these things do. The um, let me pull this up here real quick. So four hats. Hats are lives. You get. You can collect those. Um, the potions. Where's the potions? Okay. There's a map. There's a map. Okay. So the blue potion gives you invincibility. The shield of life. Purple potion destroys all moving objects in a room. The elixir of destruction. Yellow potion, the guardian of time, freezes all moving objects in place. You can still move them by pushing them or picking them up. And then the green potion, the eyes of the blind. This potion casts a spell which makes all invisible objects suddenly appear. Okay, so purple um, destroys things. Wait, okay, that's blue. That's blue and then that's, that's purple. I'm looking at this on a CRT so the colors are all weird. Uh, blue potion, purple potion. So blue is invincibility. Purple destroys things. Yellow is freezing time. And green is revealing things. Okay. And then you have to collect keys as well. So. Yeah. So you haven't, you haven't even mega dan this one? So has anybody beaten Perfect Blue without a Game Genie? Because... It seems like they should be able to, right? Like, can you hear this music okay? If this is fine, I'm not gonna keep bothering with my audio system. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather have it sound better, but I don't know what to do here. I gotta figure out what's going on. Zero, room one completed 0.19% just by existing. I have completed 0.19% of this game. Or maybe it's because I moved a couple of steps. That's pretty funny. All right, anyway. Let me know what you guys are up to tonight. How are you doing? All right, you select if you need to pause. Start is how you consume potions. More of a violet versus burgundy situation, really. <laughs> anybody play Equinox? Yeah, I was asking if anybody played played Equinox. I'll have to try it out if I like this. Okay, so down down moves you kind of at this weird. So this, this isometric thing is it takes a little getting used to. It's like playing Marble Madness. All right, I just got to wrap my head around this. You can jump. And then B, I think, is like picking objects up. So I guess I can go down that way, but I'm going to go up here first. And select is... No, select is the screen, and then... Oh, shoot, I just activated something. Oh. You know what? I'm resetting this. Uh, okay, no, I wasted a potion or something. I don't know what the heck that was. So that was backwards. Select gets you to that submenu, and then start activates something. Yeah. Oh, you did tell me that, Jim. Yes. You select if you need to pause. Start so I can suppose just in my head I reversed it. Okay. I just don't want to waste a potion for no reason. For no reason. Apparently, this game actually has like a pretty good. Um... So I just dropped in from somewhere. I guess I could go in this door here too. I'm gonna go up though. Okay, um, like this, there's like a pretty good documentation of how this game came to be. Yeah, no, thank you, Jim. And then I totally, I totally botched it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go over here. Oh, there's guys attacking. Okay. Um, and there's not really any way to attack these things, right? What do I do here? I guess I could destroy them all. Whoops. Oh my gosh. That was fast. 
Oh, I was supposed to jump that over. That's what I was supposed to do there. Oh, I was trying to turn. I couldn't do it. So far, this is going great. Let's see. What? Why did I disappear? Alright, this is probably why I never gotten very far in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go over... What? Okay, wait a second here. Oh my gosh, okay. This is, uh... Hmm. Well, that was fast. I visited four rooms. I completed 0.78%. All right, thanks for joining me, guys. I have to be quick on the glass platforms. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, the music is very subtle in, in the actual room, so I'm not going up there yet. I'm going to go this way. Oh. Hey, Jaden. How you doing? There's like no time to to like look at anything. All right, what's this? Oh, see, I have no idea what any of this stuff is or how to interact with it. Omega Ace, hey man, thank you. Yeah, I started late. I had some technical issues because I switched from streaming upstairs in the in the living room down to my down to my CRT, my battle bridge, and uh, all the settings were messed up. So there's no audio on the on the game, unfortunately, aside from what you hear on the TV. How are you doing, Omega? Don't you have exams tomorrow? No, they were today. How did they go? I'm not sure what to do with this thing here. Oh, this is that room. Okay. Huh. Okay, what do I do with this? And my po potions aren't going to do anything either, because that's not going to do anything. The object of this game is literally to assemble the six pieces of the stuff and go to the final room. And it's just a decoration. It looks, you know, important. I hope you can hear this music, because it's kind of neat. It's like an egg? What is that? Oh, okay, I can move this. Can I not pick this up? I thought I was able to pick that up. Oh, it's on my head. Um. Okay. I can't climb up there anyway. Can't you pick things up with, like, B? Isn't that what B is for? Why can't I pick that up? You did just fine, I think. I did the math. If I get a point on it, I ace the class. I mean, they call you Omega Ace, so... Yes, and Jaden made the same comment. The big last box picking it up would be asking a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm going back to the manual here for a second. Thought I was supposed to be able to pick up boxes. At least there's no timer. So... You can jump and... push to pick up and drop objects. Okay. For some reason, I can't pick anything up, though. Oh, hey, Angelique. Sorry I started late. I'm glad you got my note my message. To stand on an object to pick it up? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's see. Wow. That, that makes no sense. Oh, hey, Adam. Yeah, this game always looked interesting, and I think... Uh, so, I've gotten farther now than I ever have in my life. So, I uh, can't do anything with it, but can I take that with me, then? Can I use it in here? No, you can't carry it with you. You can only... Okay. I can't quite climb this, anyway. So that's a box. Can I jump across? 
Maybe if I had been lined up with it properly, I would be able to. What is this thing? Okay. Oh, I can't jump on that. Okay. I guess I can climb over here. I can go over here. We figured out a puzzle. Oh, jeez. So those things are going to disappear. And then there's probably spells and things to reveal. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Grab the green block, yeah. Um, why did all of these comments not show up? Hold on a second. Uh, wow, all these comments, okay. Must have read about it in Nintendo Power because it feels familiar. <laughs> hey, Captain Algebra, how are you? Jump and place object in midair to get up higher. Huh. Okay. Thanks, Angelique. Yeah, I play mostly old school games. 2.5D view puzzle game. Yep. Um, I do play Mario, uh, but I don't play a lot of Mario because I've, I've played them all. Mo I've played most of the old school ones already. And I'm still learning to play the first Sonic game. I haven't streamed it yet, but I probably will at some point. Yeah, spikes and enemies will kill me. Thanks, Jaden. <laughs> Four potions. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. I'm not sure. I'm sort of just kind of getting the lay of the land before I start using things. I know that they can make things appear, they can make me disappear, they can make items, um, like enemies die. Okay. And we're back here. Okay. So we've been all the way around. All right, let's just experiment a little bit here. So the purple thing kills things, right? All right, yep, and then nothing happened. So do they come back, though? Or are they permanently gone? Oh, they come back, that's awesome, okay. There's nothing here, it's just decorations. Okay, and that's that room, okay. Hmm. Only active for the room you use them in. <laughs> Imagine if a wrestler stood on top of another wrestler to pick him up. The only the only parallel I have for this game mechanic is Super Mario Brothers 2, because you can stand on things and pick them up. You can you pull up the vegetables, you stand on enemies and you pick them up that way. So if I uh -huh, oh, so that's what you mean. Okay. And then now I have this. No, I don't have that. Okay, hold on. Okay. That's so strange, though. Alright, so now I'm up here. Not sure why that matters. Alright, so the potion reveals things. The yellow potion reveals things, and the green potion... No, the green potion reveals things. Right? Okay. Makes me feel like a kid again. Oh, no worries. <laughs> you know, that's why I play some, some of the reason why I play these games. It does make me feel like a kid again. 
Yeah, no, he told me to do that. That's why I, that's why I did that. That's why I jumped and, and threw the thing. Oh, did he make the Super Mario Brothers 2 reference too? I'm way behind on the chat, guys. I'm sorry. Mario had to stand on Shy Guys to pick them up. Yes. Blue is invincibility. Yellow freezes time. Okay. And then the and then the green. Okay. Yellow freezes time. Don't! Alright, I think I get it now. I'm starting to figure this out. Or not. Okay, well. Now I'm stuck, right? Now I'm stuck because I can't. I can't get out of here. <laughs> I can't reset the room. Can I unfreeze time by pressing the thing? No. I think I just broke the game. How do I follow you so it lets me know when you do this? Well, it's, YouTube is very bad at, at notifying people. But if you subscribe and then you hit like the bell, you can select to get different notifications. And that's why you don't mess with the continuum. That's right, Emperox. How about the green box? I can't get to the green box. Can I grab it? No, I can't. I screwed that one. Oh, hold on. Oh, I can sort of move it with my head. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Well, oh wait, I can kill myself on the spikes. That's what I can do. That's a pretty sad sound that he makes. I think I'm out of the yellow the yellow potion now too, so. Alright, that's alright. We're we're learning. We'll figure stuff out here. There's a key. There's a key here the whole time. A magic key. Hooray! Now, I forget what the magic keys do. Um, clearly, they open things. You're eating dinner. It's true. Uh, this game would greatly benefit from shadows. No, the NES can do shadows. I think they just... It might have been beyond like what they could do in this game. But All right, What do the keys do here? There are four keys hidden throughout Castle Rock. In order to complete the quest, Shadex must find all four keys. Once the sorcerer has found a key... It will become visible on the select screen. These magical keys enable the, sh the Shadax to journey through rooms that were previously impassable. Each key will do one of the following. Make blocks appear in a previously empty room. Make a door appear in a solid wall. That's exciting. This is a very involved game. If I haven't mentioned it yet, if you didn't know, there are 250 rooms in this game. And there's no password. And there are no continues. As far as I know. So, this is this is a journey, my friends. If we're going to if we're going to play this, it is a journey. Get my chat back up here. Hey, BFG. Follow up to this game called Equinox was released on the SNES a few years later. Magic keys reveal new blocks. Thank you, Jim. So you haven't finished this, but you've played enough of it that you under you you grok the uh, the controls. Okay. But why? <laughs> there are continues, but they're weirdly implemented. Hmm. You mean like with a path with a code or something? All right. Um. Or maybe there's something that I'll encounter in the game somewhere. All right. Let's let's go around here a little bit more. The controls are okay. It feels a little slippery, but that's probably good. This kind of reminds me a little bit of um, The Immortal, both in its incomprehensibility. That's not a word. Well, you know what I mean. And in, in its uh, isometric view, there are no boss battles in this game. Well, that's good. All right, so that's a door. And I've already been in through there. 
Okay, let's just go back a little bit here, see if something else has appeared. I wish I had some sort of defensive capability aside from that that one random spell. Okay. And this thing. I wonder if it matters which one you ride on. Okay, here's some more blocks. So these are interesting because, well, what's in here? Oh dear, okay, we're going back out of here. So if I take this and I put it like there, and then I take this and I go like this, and I can go in here. What is that? What? What's, is this, it? what? What is happening here? Okay. Is that an enemy? No, it's a thing. A credit, is that the continue? Thank you, Jaden. Credits exist in the form of, of coins. Okay, when you run out of lives, you return to where you collected the last credit with all the progress you made after collecting it being lost. That's exciting. Trying to finish off Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Cap? Awesome. The artist that made the cover of this game had a book of several cover arts that featured his work on Kickstarter. Huh. Did he do the Power Blade cover also? Because I remember seeing one, one of the game artists uh, doing stuff on Kickstarter. But I don't remember which artist it is. This is the path. Paper Mario. Parts of drag. Oh, you're doing the, the GameCube one, right? I've got that here. I haven't played any of the Paper Mario games yet. That's on my list. He did do the Power Blade cover? Okay. I remember he post he he was selling like a new like print of the Power Blade cover, I think. Hey Chum Nasty, how are ya? Alright. So I got a credit. And I'm not sure what the point of these blocks was. Alright. Can't climb this. So then how do you access these things? Hmm. If you can't bring things with you. Boots. I need those boots. Those make you jump higher, I believe. So that's how you'd get up there. What? Can I ride on this guy's head? Ugh, okay, I gotta figure out, I have to jump and then drop the block, I think. Oops. That is one of the saddest sounding death sounds I've heard in the game. Push, I'll oh, push it on his head and then ride it, okay. That's what I thought. I was gonna just try to drop it, but I think that makes more sense to uh, push it. Visited 14 rooms, you completed 4.68%. Get used to hearing it. You have one credit, press start to continue. So wait, if the, so the credit, if I die this time, then I have to start over again, is that right? Okay. 
It's an interesting game. It's just, obviously, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Magic boots. Oh, yeah. So I can jump higher now, yeah? Okay. Can I get back over here? Great. Yes. My lady orders an $800 package. Does she get an NT Mini Noir from Europe? It goes missing. She reaches out to the company. They ignore her. She calls her bank and files a claim and gets her money back. Uh, and there's more to this story. Okay, I'm going over there. Oh dear. Let's see, like, what is this for? There's nothing in here. Suddenly, the package is no longer lost, and they contact her the very next day. My goodness. It does have a pretty cool soundtrack. Uh-oh. Um... Hmm... You won't come with me, will you? Nope. It's funny how they suddenly care when she gets the bank involved. Oh, that is weird. So, so now they want their money back? Or does she get to keep the package and the money? Because that would be the best. Oh, my potion's refilled a little bit. Nope. This thing again. Hmm, okay. What? Hmm. Can I grab it? Yeah, I, I need some shadows or something to figure out where I am. Got the package, but she's honest to a fault. She has to bang to give the money back to the company. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I don't have any more potion. I don't have enough potion. I don't know how to refill my potion either. So, does that guy end up under that thing at some point? Because I probably need to land on his head somehow. This isn't going well. Nope. Oh, wait. I can freeze it. Right? Okay. That's what I need to do. So let's, let's try doing that. Well, if I do that... Hmm. Okay. So this thing freezes time, right? So we're going to go on here, and we're going to go here, and we're going to freeze time. That did not freeze time. It made me invisible or something. Okay. The moment the package was no longer lost in transit, the moment she called the bank. Yeah, that's not cool. Yellow freezes time? Yellow freezes time. Yeah, one of the profound truths of life is that adulthood consists of someone's entirely of energy spent trying to stop people from screwing you. Indeed. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. Oh, I made it. Okay. Um...
Hmm. Okay. Now, is that block just invisible, or is it, like... I guess we'll go this way first, then, because it might not come back. Oh, there's probably another thing in here, and I can't activate it. Huh? Is that block still there? Oh, it is. Okay, so they're invisible blocks, and they just appear when you jump. Green potion in this room. Yeah, I don't have any more green potions. Well. I guess we'll try that again. Can't imagine how much money I would get back if I could somehow be reimbursed for all the dishonest people that somehow skimmed money off me, banks, mechanics, etc. If you find it on his mechanic, hold him for dear life. It's funny. Alright, well, maybe I should just watch the uh, attract mode to get hints on everything, right? Um, Alright, so... Does show a few hints. Hmm. The demo. See, if I had the boots, I could get through here. Okay. back up there when I get the boots, which I think clearly in the other direction. Oh, right. I can get, I can get through here because I have this thing. I forgot about that. So I can do this. Oh, I'm missing comments again. Jeez. Stupid live top chat. Sorry, folks.
Hmm. All right. So I should be able to get the thing up here. So it's kind of a relief. Like, there's 250 rooms, but not every room is a puzzle. That makes it more manageable, I think. By the way, if anyone enjoyed watching me play um, Solomon's Key last week, um, and you have the NES Switch Online, um, Solomon's Key is, in fact, one of the games listed um, available in there. So you can give it a try yourself if you want. I suck at games, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm good at some games. Dope. Still trying to figure out Grissom. Tag, tag battle. I haven't played Gris yet. I need to. I do have, uh, I have a physical copy of it, actually. One of the uh, limited releases. Okay. See, that doesn't really... Okay, I'm trying, trying to wrap my head around how these things line up. But you know what? I'm going to go back... There's some areas I couldn't access before. Let's see if I can get in there now. Shoot. So theoretically, I should be able to get through here now, right? Can I jump up there now? Really? Ah, there we go. What is this? Green potion. At least I don't use uh, Game Genie like Mega Dan and Jim. <laughs> yeah, when I play Gris, I'll uh, see if I can help you out. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining me, and again, sorry for being being a little bit late um, and for the audio problems here. All right. no reason to think that I wouldn't be able to drop. Arr! I hate you, isometric view. I guess I have to jump. <sighs> That's my last life. Oh, this room. I've been in here before, haven't I? Oh, this is the other side of that room. Okay. I see how these are all connected. Later is usually better for me anyway. I'm not too late, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, in fact, this is... Since I have all my gaming stuff down here, this is my copy of Gris. Still shrink-wrapped. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. 
it says Gris only on the side and it's hard to read it. Anyway, this is from uh, Devolver Digital. So this one's this one was by Special Reserve Games, and I think they released another um, physical release recently. Um, when I hear the high pitched scream, I imagine the guy on the cover doing it. <laughs> Renaissance was playing this. He was talking about Equinox. I thought it was Solstice, but couldn't remember it. Yeah, that was the SNES one. Yeah, did he he beat this, right? I know he's played this one before. He was talking about it before. All right. So. Break the seal. I'll break it when, I, when I'm ready to play it. Um, you know. Yeah, 6 dollars on the shop. See, I could have gotten it super cheap as well. I keep thinking I might I might end up selling some of these some of these games though if I play them, and then I'm done with them and I don't necessarily want to play them again. The all these limited run games that I got for the Switch, I'm pretty sure I can sell them for at least how much I spent on them in the first place. Okay, so we're gonna go over here again. This one I need the green potion, and I need the green potion in the next room also. Ooh, okay. So now I know I can just jump kind of that way, I guess. <laughs> Great. Should I play this first? I mean, I guess it's a, it, the Equinox is a sequel. I think Equinox, you're playing the kid of this guy. Spoilers. Hey, Comic Man, how are you? So, I mean, and I, I assume the mechanics are fairly similar, so. Um, it's probably worth playing it first. It controls fine, it's just, you know, the game mechanics are, take me a little, little getting used to is all. But I'm getting there. No, I'm going the wrong way. I have to go get some other things first. It's this way. Is there anything in here? I already did the spell in here and nothing showed up. I don't know why that... Maybe if I... Oh, you know what? If I get another key, maybe something appears in there at some point. Right? Some are ridiculous. I have Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time from Super Rare Games and it goes for $200 now. Yeah, I missed that one. I didn't... I wasn't collecting them at that point. And uh, I've, I've been primarily... Um, Primarily, I've been uh, emphasizing like platforming games and games that I think I'm going to be really interested in playing. Um, I don't know if any of these ones that I have are, are rare at all. I haven't like checked the prices on them or, or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure I can get at least the amount that I spent on them, even if it's it's opened. Oh, these blocks didn't appear here before, did they? So now I'm trying to figure out, like, trying to get my head around things that, like, how the rooms change after I get the keys. Some rooms are just for practicing. That makes sense. Yeah, I'd probably put them on eBay or, or something like that if I, um, if I wanted to part with them. I don't know if any of these games are worth anything. Get the jumping boots.
Yeah, trying to figure out like how things line up is very challenging in this game. I could just go around. Did I just... Okay, well, it's full up now, I guess. Hmm. Is there a Sailor Moon game we could play on 3DS or Switch? There is... Not. I think the only Sailor Moon games I know are on older systems. Considered, considered selling that one to put towards my NES collection. I beat it and my family isn't interested in the multiplayer. The l l Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Plus, you can also get it for, you know, super cheap on... On digital, right? I mean, I've definitely considered games, selling games. Like, I could sell my still shrink-wrapped copy of Paper Mario for the N64 and get, I guess, upwards uh, almost a thousand dollars last I checked, and then that would go a long way. <laughs> um, but I want to play that game, so. All right, this one I have to jump. Okay. Did I go that way last time? Right, okay, I'm gonna go over here first. Oh, right, okay, so I think... And... Great. No! No! Oh, wow. That was terrible. And now I'm going to continue. Oh, I have a... still have lives. Have I been picking up more lives somewhere? Okay, come on. Go... Oh, I could have to go that... Arrgh! I can't control this guy. How many more games do you need in your NES collection, Jim? Oh. Very sad. Oops. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh, I can go out that way. Whew. Okay. Huh. Right. Okay. So I did go around. Ooh, what's in here? Blue block. Hmm. Everything just leads back. Well, I'm sort of stuck in here now because I can't. I have to. I'm supposed to jump across. Nuts. So I have to go back around. Somehow. Oh, this thing again. I have a Paper Mario, but there's practically no label on it. Worst shaped SNES game I have. Oh, yeah. Now, how many more NES games do you need in your collection? Thanks, my guys. I thought you had a pretty full set. All right. So if I go to the right. Okay. Huh. don't know if there's anything in here. 
Oh, shoot, that was the wrong thing. Right, let's leave and come back, because I've just wasted my freeze potion. And there's nothing revealed here. What do I do with these blocks? I don't even see how I would get over there. I guess I'd have to come back here with it when a different key has unlocked it. Right? I could go across this way. Can I? I don't think I'll make that jump. He doesn't do diagonals very well. Does he do diagonals at all? He doesn't, in fact, do diagonals. That was my problem. I was trying to make him do a diagonal, and he couldn't do it. He can't do diagonals. Well, okay. I guess that depends on what the goal is for a complete license set a lot. That was never my goal, though. There's still several I like to have to play it, though. Okay. I guess I don't need to freeze that if I jump fast enough, right? Right, okay. Um, hold on a second. I need... Okay. I bet I need... Shoot. I can't freeze it, but I bet I need to freeze that block so I can grab it in midair. And then... Jump up there. Right? But I don't have yellow potion. So where do I get yellow potion from? Oh, you know what? I haven't gone over here yet. Or recently. Okay, I think there's a block kind of in the middle there somewhere. Alright, we gotta come back. Oh, I have a credit. Okay. Um, In the room with the spikes and rising green block, jump on the block and ride it up to a room above. Hmm. I love the NES, which makes you my hero. I have about 125 licensed NES games now. And no EverDrive, or you do have an EverDrive as well? Do you perhaps have an anecdote to offer in regards to teaching? Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris James. How are you? I guess I could also go on that. I guess I've been on that side before, haven't I? Did I not collect the... Oh, I didn't collect the thing yet. I thought I had the... I forgot that the, the continue was from before I got the, the shoes. Team Mini Jailbreak, I can play off the SD card. Oh, that's true. even look like he j jumps on that higher much higher
I mentioned in a Mega Dance stream that it's not the same for me to just play a ROM. I have less motivation to stick with it versus a cartridge I own. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, and, I don't know. I, at least for NES stuff, I have enough nostalgia that I prefer loading up the actual card if I have it. I feel like the children are the ones teaching me. <laughs> I learn something new every day. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, I don't stand over there. Okay, jump from over here. Ugh. I can't... I just want to twist. Apparently in Equinox you can move the camera. So... Alright, now I have the spell. I can reveal things. Ah, okay. Okay. There's a hat over there. Mm. You gotta be very fast on those things, huh? I'm gonna lose all my hats. Oh, that's my last life, too. Extra life over there. Yeah, I know, but if I try to go for it, I might die. Kind of in a funk with teacher right now due to virtual learning. Yeah, they're screwing you over, Cap. For sure. Can't help with that. Going ahead to bed. Good night, Emperox. Thank you for coming by. This game could seems like it could take a lifetime. Yep, I'll still be here playing it when you wake up. Alright, I got it. Oh, I don't got it. <laughs> This game, oh god. This is a game that you need, uh. <laughs> this is a game you need save states for. You wouldn't, Jim. <laughs> I need the block for the spikes, too. Uh, oh, so I need to take the block and, take, and ride that other thing up? That makes sense. Okay, okay. Let me just remind myself what's up here because I think I need to come back. Oh, this just loops around. Right. Oh, right. Oh, yes, I need to come back here. That's right. Okay. Oh, dear. I need to come back here when I get the, um, the shoes. Gotta remember to come back. Still, I'm, I'm making some progress, so that's not that's not bad, I guess. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? Welcome. Hope you're having a pleasant evening. Oh, that just loops around. Okay. I always forget which way I'm supposed to go. Right. I seem to be confused and lost. I just loop back around again, right? Okay. Oh no, this is where I need to go. Oh no! Mm. Alright, I'm just gonna reset that. It's annoying. Hey, I don't give a thumb. How are you? Welcome. Had my best friend neighbor over, and she led me in yoga. Then we made dinner and did movie watching. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. Ooh, gosh, look at those eyeball people. I guess we're going to encounter those at some point. I'm 
Guy on cover. Ah. Now, have you played this one, Sean? Or I don't give a thumb. Ah, right, the key. That's what I forgot before. Okay, I need to remember my path. I should draw a map. Or copy the map, I guess, and recall which way I'm supposed to go. Okay. And then do this. Maybe I should save that until I've progressed a little bit further, right? We'll come back. That will come back, okay. That probably makes sense. Grab the boots and then come back for that. Had a few NES games arrive today. 1943, okay, Shadowgate, Guerrilla War, Iron Tank, Mober Madness, and Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Those are all pretty solid. Um, I haven't played much of 1943. I've only streamed, I've only done, week, I've played, I've finished Shadowgate as a kid. Guerrilla War, Iron Tank, I played as my weekly streams, as I did with Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, which I kind of liked most of, but I haven't finished it yet. Marble Madness is one of those games I've never been able to finish. Never played Solstice, but it looks a bit like Landstalker for Sega Genesis. Interesting. Sometimes mix it up with Immortal. Yeah, I can see that. It feels like a mix of Immortal and uh, Prince of Persia, and yeah, I don't know. That's cool, Jim. See, I'm at the point with in my collection where I don't have a lot of games, like cheaper games that I can pick up. Um, and I have an EverDrive, so I haven't been prioritizing buying more games, but every now and then I'll pick some up. Like, I want to pick up Punisher at some point, so I saw Captain Algebra playing that, and it looks really good. And, and uh, you know, I go through periods where I buy some games from time to time, and then um, and then I uh, don't, because, you know, I've got, like, an EverDrive and everything, so there's no point. In, <laughs> I mean, it's, there's, not, there's a point, because I care about collecting them, but... Um, there's not really a huge imperative to get them just to play them. 55 ship, that seems like a good price for those games. Yeah, Shadowgate's one of my childhood games, so I have the box for that and everything. Guerrilla War was the first game I ever beat. Very sentimental. That's awesome, Chum Nasty. Hold out hope that Aurab Games and Franken Graphics resume their isometric game, The Gift of Discernment. Interesting. I hadn't heard of that one. I think I've seen, um, I know Franken Graphics is working on Halcyon, I think. I'm not sure what Arab is working right now. Or is that also Halcyon? Okay, so... Right, I can go across that way. It's a little scary, though. I'm gonna go around. Oh, you know what? Why don't I go back? Can I go back to the beginning? Yes. So now I should be able to get get through some of these areas that I couldn't get through before. Right? Where'd that ball go? Ooh, Stalfos? <laughs> they can climb? I don't think... I wonder if I can jump up there if I destroy them. Or can I jump over them? I'm going to try to jump over them. Okay. This is a whole other area. Very exciting. Let's go over here first. Huh. Okay. 
Oops, walk too fast. I think. Can I actually get past it if I wait for it to clear? Yes. Okay. Ugh. Another continue? Is that another credit? Why is it a different color? Um, good night, Thoughtless. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. All right, sounds good, Jim. limited access to these potions is kind of a bummer. Wow, it's almost midnight already. Oh, I guess I got a later start. Hmm. Yikes. Why did I do that again? Jump. Oh, come on. Am I lined up wrong? I'm lined up wrong, okay. Great, that was a waste. Whoa. Not sure what I'm supposed to do there. But I have two credits, so that's good. what that thing is. Shoot. Can I grab it? Ah. <laughs> well, no worries, it's Omega. Yellow potion, okay. I really don't like this isometric view here. A synonym for grading. Um, evaluating. Scoring. Scoring. The sequel to Celsius was Equinox Law. <laughs> hey, Sod. So like, I think I can freeze those guys in there, but I'm not sure if I should. That's the yellow potion, I think, right? So then what happens? Can I talk? He kills me anyway, even though he's frozen. Great. All right, we'll continue here. Assessment, yeah, that's a good one too. Assessing. Oh, wait, what? So, okay. So the one continue, the one continue took me back to the previous continue and then this continue took me back farther 
Wow. I thought they were just... Um, I'd still be able to continue from the most recent save point. Wow. Yeah, I, I am sad. <laughs> it's all right. Disciplining, discipling, grading, round it out nicely. Uh, so what do I even have then? Because I guess I didn't really miss anything. I guess I went all the way up to the north areas. So if this takes me back, though, hold on. If this takes me back to where I was previously, then would I not be able to collect that continue point again? Or no? Oh, that's okay, Jim. I get it now. But if that took me back to where, before I collected the continue, then can I collect the continue again? Huh. If I take this box and put it here, I'll grab this box. I don't think I can jump up there. Is closer. It needs to be over here. Maybe I can't do this yet. Looks like he's just short. Oh, no, he made it. Okay, where am I? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm. Hold on. Oh. What is this thing? Is that good or bad? What did I grab? Oh, it's a block. Okay. Okay, so the block drops below you. So if I jump... Oh, that didn't work. I needed to go in the middle there. Okay. So if I jump... Nuts! I didn't land on the box. Well, that should work, right? Like that. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, I need some shadows or something. Despite his name being Shadax, there are no shadows. Disciplining has a bit of a negative connotation to it. Disciplining, disciplining sounds like somebody's done something wrong and you're teaching them a lesson. Okay. I mean, I mean, educating, I guess, is is probably better. Instructing, um,
This guy doesn't have enough animations. And a sprite. Although I like how his legs, like, move back and forth when he's jumping in the air. I guess it's just his walking animation, though. If there's anything in here, did I reveal anything yet? Nothing. Okay. Measuring? Hmm. Correcting bad behavior. How should I phrase it? It just, um,. Just looking for another word for teaching, right? Oh, that's what you were saying. That was awkward, not my playing. I thought you were talking about the isometric view being awkward. Which it is. Very much is. Oh, I see. I don't see how to get up there. What is the point of that pink block? That doesn't do anything. Hey, Alpha Nerd. How are you? I'm not sure what the point of this this cube is. Oh, is that a book or a blanket or something? I don't think I can do this. Jump over here. Whoops. Nope. Yeah, if someone cheats on a paper, it's discipline. If a student hits another student, your hypothetical negative connotation would be appropriate. Just getting ready for bed? Well, thank you for dropping by. Yeah, I don't think I can... I could jump over there. Actually, maybe I can make that. Okay. What's this? Just a just a cube, okay. Hmm. Wish I could scroll on my map. <laughs> Thanks, Angelique. Guy in his counseling and mentorship. Oh, another continue. Okay. Guess I'll take that. These are some weird continues. You're right. Oh dear. Help. Help. Is there something over there? I 
need to come back here when there's something else available, right? Okay. Probably something shows up in here at some point. Oh, I see. Discussing three challenges in, in teaching. One would be disciplining, the other's grading, and the third one. And a third one. Um, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, discipline. And then disciplining works in that context, I think. Grading. I mean, the challenge. there is a challenge in teaching itself, I think. Um, I think, though, maybe engaging them? Engaging them? Because there's teaching and then there's engaging them to make sure that they're understanding like what you're, that they're interested and they're involved in, in their education, right? Motivating is, is another word. Motivating engagement, I think, something like that, right? I'm not sure why I'm in this room. There's a worm. There's two worms and a thing and some stairs. Why am I in here? What's my motivation? Oh dear. Okay, I'm leaving. Classroom management. That's that's true. That's true. I like that one. My big buzzword. Make learning fun and intriguing. What what are you going to be teaching exactly, Omega Ace? Is there a specific um, is there a specific uh, course or um, topic that you're teaching, and what how old are your students going to be? Or do you not know? If you teach them about live streaming, that would be fun. Let's go over here. Oh, mm, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Those things are disturbing. I guess I'm going down here. That looks important. All right. Oh, no. I, mean, I guess I can kill him. Probably need to kill that guy. I still don't know what the purpose of being invisible is. I guess the ones where the things chase you might be make sense to be invisible. Took a few paths to give yourself options. Uh, English education degree for the high school level. Okay, cool. Lesson planning, that's true, but that's that's not necessarily a, a classroom involved in the classroom, per se. I'm not sure why I would go up here, unless there's some invisible blocks. Like that way. That's not going to drop me in the pit, right? Okay. Can I take this block? Like, can I actually steal it? It's floating. You can't take it. What the? Oh, Jim was telling me about these invisible, these green blocks, taking you up higher. Huh. Okay, that's an interesting new mechanic. So now I'm up here. And there's a thing over there, and I can't get over there. If I drop down. I just drop all the way back down. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. I didn't know that there were different levels. So if I'm up here, it just shows it's the same square. Time management is another challenge. True. Differing instruction to various students' abilities and interests is another challenge, but that's super narrow. Yeah. All right. I can get over there. And... Ah! Okay. 
Um, not sure what that does me any good here. That doesn't do me any good, does it? Interesting. Okay. And I have to kill that guy, I think. You know something, folks, I will be right back. I need to get, um, it's cold down here. I need to get some socks. And I, I think I'm also going to grab my copy of Contra because I think uh, before I sign off, I'm going to do another Contra run just for the kicks. So I will be right back, folks. Oh, Mandalorian, okay. Yeah, I'm way behind. Drink hot cocoa. <laughs> if I had time to make some, I would. I feel like I'm in the 80s. Well, if you could see... If you could see my setup, I've actually got, like... These socks don't match. Okay, whatever. Um... I have, I'm playing on a old uh, tube TV, and I've got like a little TV stand for it, and I've got my NES and everything set up. It's very cozy. Okay, I should play down here more often, and I would stream here more often if uh, if I can figure out what's going on with my capture card. I'll uh, I'll see about doing that. Taking off Alpha. Have a good night. Thank you so much for coming by. Take care. Okay. Your fiance recently got you back into hot cocoa. You gotta have marshmallows. Alright, is this chair? There we go. Need a better chair down here, though, I think. Want a capture card to play on Twitch? So this capture card, I'll see if I can send you the info on it. Um, the capture card I'm using is actually a $10... $12 card that I got on eBay. Um, it was very well reviewed by Epos Vox. And I mean, the quality is pretty decent aside from the fact, and the, the fact that I can't get the audio working is probably an OBS thing right now. I've, I, I know I've gotten it working before and I don't know what, what changed in my set, setup. Um, but it does usually work. And when I was streaming from my mystery the other night when I was playing Donkey Kong Country, that was also using the same capture card that I'm using right now. Normally I have like a much more expensive card that I use for all my other systems, but the Mr. doesn't work with with it, that other card very well, but it does work with this one. So it doesn't it doesn't cost a lot to uh, to get started. All right. So I don't really know what I'm doing in here. I guess I'm going over here. All right, I need to kill this guy, all right? So it's this thing. All right, everyone's gone. Gonna go in here. Uh, didn't I come in here from some other direction before? I did. So there was really no point in doing that. Oh, okay, right, I can do this, okay. And then, 
He's jumping up there to get the thing. There's another continue over this way, right? Okay, these are glass. I'm trying to figure out what that thing was. Oh, I did get... Oh, that's just yellow potion, right? It looks kind of weird. I can't tell what that is. Oh. Oh, I tried to block jump off the block that I didn't collect yet. Dang it. Here's another continue. Don't know how to set up Twitch yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I have a Twitch account, but I haven't really streamed on there much yet. Should continue rewatching those movies with the Spud. He, I think we only watched the first one. He seemed to enjoy it. All right, so I got the other continue. It's a block. I think I'd come in from the other direction, right? Because I can't go that way. I can't get up there yet. In fact, I don't know how I'll ever be able to get up there. Unless there's like some kind of visible block or something. Huh. That's fine. I'm going to pick up from where I was. Just now. Never seen episode six. Yeah, the um, isometrics are really working against you in this game. Okay, can I do the invisible? I'm not sure what the invisibility thing will do for, for me exactly, but I'm gonna try it. Is invincibility is it invincibility or invisibility? There's actually no point in doing this. So they can't kill me. But what is the point of being in here? Alright, so what if I just wipe you all out? Now what? No good? Nothing, no reason. Okay, something else must show up in here later on. So it's invincibility, not invisibility? Or is it both? Oh. Mm. Who let that guy out? He's usually behind that block. Oh, there he goes. So he's actually not trapped. He can get out there anytime he wants. He's just an idiot. Okay. Go over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, right, there was a continue over here, which I've already taken, so never mind. There's nothing in here. But they were about to kill me, so... Can I get up there? Huh. Guess not. There are no blocks in here. It's a mystifying game.
Oh, right, okay. Have I gone through here before? That's pretty tight. All right, some sort of bubble. Am I safe on this thing? What does this bubble do? Uh, oh, I can push, oh, I can roll it. Okay. Now it's been rolled into a corner, and that's it's less useful. I need to get up there. Okay, so I need that block, and I need the ball. I need to take this over there. I need to take this. No, 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 come back. Okay, so it goes in whichever direction you push it in. And it keeps going. Very interesting. I didn't need that block at all. Oh, wait, I need it there. Okay, hold on. I have to get around. So what do I have? I can kill I can't kill them all, I don't think. I'll try it. Okay, I can kill them all. Mm-hmm. Right, that's not in my way, right? Okay, that's over here. That's in my way. How do I get past this thing? Oh, I dropped down. Okay, I can't. I don't have to jump. I just drop down. But I have to drop down and move fast, right? Can I stay there? No, you can't stay there. Okay. I don't know why I stood there. there we go jump. Okay. Okay, great. Making some progress here. What is that spinny thing? Looks like I have to walk on this guy's head too. Physics. Great. No. All right, where does this take me? Gonna be working on a video, cool. Oh, boo, indeed. Oh, this room, okay. Yeah, this game is gonna take quite a bit of time to untangle. Did I go through here already? Oops. if I've done this. Okay. I don't recall if I did anything up here. All right. Oh, okay. I know what to do here.
Oh, I need to be faster there. I guess I could have just killed everyone. That's a waste. I should remember if I collected anything up here that's useful. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Hold on, what's this? What the heck? I'm coming back in here. What? it. Huh. What did that do? Huh. Did that trigger something somewhere? Oreos. Uh, yeah, I like Oreos. Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> like, make it stuff more of a Nabis Nabisco friend upon obesity. OBC. I don't know if Nabisco did. The golden ones are okay. Once in a while. not a continue that's just a potion okay why did I think that was a continue and I don't know how to get oh can I so if I do this can I ride these guys oh so I can interesting now I know what the point of that is all right but I've been in here before I don't think I got very far in here, right? Oh no, it wasn't lined up with it. Okay. Hard to tell. Yep. All right, one credit left and that takes me all the way back. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, Angelique. Yeah, have a good night. Golden mega stuff. I mean, you could make your own, I guess. All right, we're gonna get through this life. I've got, I've, I lost all the stuff I collected. I guess I still have the boots, right? Does it remember where I, I guess it remembers my progress, right? But, all right, we'll explore down here a little bit more, I guess. way again. This block I'm supposed to ride up. All right. 
Whoa, what? Probably needed to freeze those things. <sighs> oh, are you kidding me? That's not cool. Alright, hold on. I need to freeze. Why did he slide? Why did he slide over that way? Why did that happen? Why did that just happen? No. <laughs> All right. Well. Sometimes I want to try a deep fried Oreo. <laughs> All right, folks. I am done with Solstice. I'm going to play a round of Contra. Maybe two. And then I'm going to call it a night. to play more um, Solstice at some point, but I think I've had enough for one evening. So many adventures to explore. <laughs> Let me switch over to Contra here. As you know, I'm trying to finish this without um, without using the code, so I'm just continuously trying. I think it'll make a nice uh, nice palate cleanser after Solstice, which I enjoyed, but definitely is a, a bit of an acquired taste or something that I need to practice a bit more. Whoops! Nope, that didn't go well. Dropped my dropped my Scrooge Perler. NES games are so good on CRTs. I just I should play it. I should play on this TV more often. Problem is wanting to be like around the family. When I'm playing a game. Let me know if it's too loud now cuz the TV sounds pretty loud. I know that's the only way you can hear the audio, so sad. I guess I'll just start over. It's a stupid place to screw that up. Three greatest rewards of teaching in this paper is done. Personal growth, witnessing the growth of student learning, and I need one last one. Financial growth, of course. You're in it for the money. doing well tonight.
trying out new ideas, experimenting. Growth of horizons. Hey Mazin, how you doing? What a weird solstice. Yes, indeed. Where's the staff in Contra? <laughs> Just putting in a Contra run before uh, ending the stream. sneak in from like the left it's like you got a fire just in case they show up randomly S icon is for staff, right? Yes, indeed. for that red guy to show up. Oh, shoot. Well, great. Just lost my uh, spread weapon. Now I'm in trouble.
I think the sixth room is supposed to have the spread shot. So this is two. So theoretically, there's a spread shot in here if Phil Summers' hand-drawn game guide is right. So I need to wait for the uh, guy in red to show up. Hope a grenade doesn't take me out. No! Nuts. Well, that would have been the spread shot, I guess. harder time with this boss without any special weapons. What? Oh, some grenade hit me. Well, I'll take the machine gun, I guess. my staff. <laughs> Ugh, chim nasty. <laughs> Alright, well that went better than I expected. Best theme in the game. very quickly. Ah, <clears throat> <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I haven't messed up in here for a long time. I guess I just need to wait.
Oh, no. <laughs> My spread shot went down into the water. Looks like they should be hitting his foot. There is a staff in Contra. Oh gosh. I almost died because of the joke. <laughs> Don't look at the comments while you're playing the game. Shot does a great job of avoiding me. <laughs> it does. That's a laser. Reverse magnetism. Why? All right, I need to stay up on the top, I guess. Thanks, guys. So much for the GGs. Ugh. Need to learn the stage a little better. supposed to do there oh wow really <laughs> well I'm going wrong in Contra okay my streams always end at this stage for some reason Get out of the way there. Oh no. Wow.
That went really bad. That went really bad. You leave your homework for tomorrow morning. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna do one more run, because that didn't go well. That was very sad. Try to avoid the enemy fire. Let's see what I can do. Finished a few assignments for tonight. Enjoy the rest of my night with the stream and maybe some Star Wars Episode 6. Yeah, I might watch another episode of The Queen's Gambit after I'm done if I'm not tired. Next week's game is Space Shuttle Challenge. That should be interesting. I think it's like a simulator. And I'm hoping to get some more Donkey Kong Country in sometime uh, in the next week or so. I think I've probably got two more streams on that one before I'm done with it. So I've got two more stages to go. So maybe Friday night? I'm not sure. Whoa. Something like that. Stuck with Banjo for at least another two streams.
Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. I was saving the spread shot in case I got shot. And I screwed that one up. Oh, man. Wow. This run's not going well. Machine gun, anyway. Oh, and the randomness of this game, just like when you think you have everything down. And I could have sworn, like when I was first playing this, that I thought you just had to memorize the patterns and you would be fine. And it turns out, no, actually, it's uh, constantly changing on you. Wow. Definitely had a better run the first time through. Going to lunch. See ya, Comic Man. Thanks for hanging out. More reflex game than memorization. Yeah, I'm seeing that. <laughs> All right, I get to, I get to try out that room six thing again. See if six has a spread shot or not. If I can survive. So that's one. I think the guy, this guy gives you a, a fireball weapon, whatever that thing's called. So I'll wait for this for the power up in here. Okay, I'll take that. Better than nothing. So that's room two. Tricky. Okay, and four. How much would I spend on Super C Loose Cart? I don't know. That one's getting pricey, right? So I already have it. Um, and I probably didn't spend much on it back in the day. But maybe 20 I don't know. I've seen it selling for 35 maybe? All right, this is the room where I need to see if I can get that power up. So I need to hold out until this guy shows up. Avoid grenades. I missed him. Oh, nuts. Okay, well, fine. Maybe I'll be okay with this weapon. Super C feels like it should be common, but I think a lot of people like it, so if 
people might be up upcharging for it. I don't remember how much I paid for it when I got it. Once upon a time. is too high. Yeah, 20. Well, this run's not going so hot. The problem with that weapon is it doesn't shoot like straight ahead of you. Six. Now I missed that red guy the last time. Oh, there's the spread shot. Alright, so it is in room six. Thank you, Phil Summers. His uh, hand-drawn game guide was correct. I knew one of these rooms had it, and I could never remember which one it was. Nope, I don't want that anymore. Okay. nice too.
Spread shot makes a big difference in here. Whew. Mercari. I haven't really looked at Mercari for games. Is there, are there really a lot of NES games on there? Mercari. Is that like, do they ship stuff? So I need to find some better places to order games online. I've gotten a bunch from DK Oldies. Um, quality varies. Prices vary. Like, I've gotten all the lower end prices, but some of their common games are kind of stupid expensive. I do not want that. Alright, let's try not to screw up so much in this stage. Oh no! Doomed. That's a problem. Hail hey, time gaming. All right, so now I need to I need to pound the button to, to get through this thing. This is a problem. I mean, I've got I've got turbo on this controller. I guess I could use that. sad to lose my weapon right there. And things were otherwise going pretty well. Okay. And cars like eBay minus the bidding. Okay, if you have someone refer you to the site with a link, you both get a coupon. Sometimes it's hard to press the B and A buttons at the same time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially if you have certain controllers. This one's pretty good, but even so. This is a laser. It's better than nothing, right? Do I want that? Can I even get it now? tricky to fight the boss with this, though. Well, we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to want to pound the button, but it's not going to help. Oof, that was close. What, 25 rooms, something like that, Arcade Pilot? How you doing tonight? Swapping for the machine gun. All right, let's see. Those guys who jump, who like, Crouch really, really anger me. So they're very hard to avoid. All right, so I think I do need to be down here in order to avoid that fire thing. This jump is somewhat tricky. 
Ah, oh, made it. Okay. Okay. And then this thing is gonna come and kill me. This boss, the one you have to keep jumping over, right? Whoop! Oh no. Just gotta get by this guy so I can get out of here. Okay. Oh boy. Practice, practice, practice. All right, stage seven. All right, this one I don't know as well here. There's like lots of stuff that just kills you because you'd like walk into it. Gonna go up this way. All right, I don't know what that was, but I bet I wanted it. I heard you can kill these things. Like, you can shoot the um, mine carts. Oh, good. That's helpful, because those are dangerous. Whoops. There's a pattern there. I don't know. Oh, those things. Yep. Those are the ones that just kill you by walking into them. Go have at least like one couple continues, maybe. I'm not good with this boss either. I haven't figured out a good strategy on this boss. If I even get to the boss. Ooh, see? Almost killed me. forever. I'm like afraid something's gonna come flying out at me. Why did that guy explode? Very slowly. Oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, nuts. Too bad I can't go back left, right? All right. Left, right? Okay. Try, try it again.
take that. I think I'm gonna go down. Actually, am I going? No, I'm gonna go back up there, I think. Oh, I probably should have stayed up there. Shoot, I didn't see that guy coming. Okay. What did I get? What is that? I guess I got rapid fire, maybe? One time I ducked in front of those spike things, and it killed me because my face went into it. I'm supposed to jump in that minecart to get up there, right? To get that. That's very nice to have. strategy for this stage. Oh no! Just trying to turn around. Right by the boss. Okay, I'm not sure how to get by here. Oh no. Rawr. I guess I'm supposed to get rid of those turrets there. Wait, okay. Uh, making progress. <laughs> totally blew up by running into the wall. Wish there was a mushroom power up in this, right? Or fire flower? Got in, get, getting a Sega Saturn, that's very nice. Got a Nintendo 64, Super Mario 64 cartridge didn't work at all, just a black screen. Oh no. You can send those cartridges to John Riggs and he'll do his um, open cart surgery and see if he can fix them. SQL Super C is a better rapid machine shooter. Yeah, seriously, some, somebody could have fixed that Mario 64, I think. Remember the patterns of the obstacles, yes. All right, we're making progress here. Let's see. Definitely want to take the high road here. Oops. Oh, wow. You can walk on that? I, almost, I could have jumped off of it, probably. That was an interesting thing.
Don't. I fell down by accident. Ugh. Oops. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay, that didn't go as well. And that's the game over. All right. Well, made some more progress tonight. That's fine. All right. I'm going to call it an evening, folks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been a pleasure. Sorry again for the late start and all of the problems with the stream. But uh, next Wednesday night, we're playing Space Shuttle Project. And hopefully I'll fit in some Donkey Kong Country. Uh, maybe Friday or Saturday. We'll see how things go, depending on my writing projects. And uh, have a good rest of the week. Hopefully I'll see some of you in your streams and, uh, and along on social media. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Good night.